Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss in this video a very simple but clinically very much useful index. Obstetric shock index. Let us examine it in this next 2 minutes. It is of great clinical use for obstetricians because it will help in avoiding underestimation of blood loss a very common mistake which we can do in clinical practice it helps in timely use of agents like tranexamic acid oxytocin and if need be even take peripartum surgical interventions before it is too late now you would like to know what is this obstetric shock index osi well, it is a bedside assessment tool that measures the ratio of heart rate to systolic blood pressure. Let me clarify it by an example. If our systolic pressure is 120, which you are very happy with, and pulse is 70, all the more, our OSI will come to 0.58. But if her systolic pressure is 60 and pulse is 100, her OSI is 1.67, a bad sign. As you can see here, more than or equal to 1.4 is a severe shock. Start moving fast. There are some limitations also. For anything good, there can be bad also, certain limitations also. And what is it? It has a low utility, understandably, in febrile patients because in febrile subjects, the pulse rate is likely to be more. Medications like beta blockers or others that can affect pulse and or blood pressure can affect this ratio. Also, values of shock index can be affected by active labor pain when she is laboring. If pulse and blood pressure of the subject in labor is affected. However, interestingly, the values were not altered by maternal anemia. So friends, with this very clinical and easy but valuable index, I am wishing you a better clinical monitoring. Thank you very much.